Hi, my name is Lusanda Mbane and welcome to Zazi Zitande Zitembe. So as we approach the fourth quarter of 2018, a lot of people are already thinking about their 2019, their careers, um, the changes they're going to make into their career, the growth that they would like with their career, and uh, they're starting to plan their lives. What a lot of people don't know uh, is that apart from all my other work that people have come to know me for, like acting and uh, radio and emceeing and being a brand ambassador and all those things, I also have been in the recruitment industry for the last 15 years. Yeah, it makes you wonder how old is she got? Oh, well, that's a story for another day. But yeah, for the past 10 years, actually, I've been running El Nina Professional Recruitment Services, which is my own recruitment company. And because of being exposed to that space, I've become very aware of some things that people don't notice as they go through a career search. So I thought I'd discuss that today, that as you think about your career for 2019, as you think about looking for a new opportunity, whether it's in the same company, it's in a different company and so forth, but what are the things that you should be aware of? Being aware that you need to sell your brand, being aware that looking for a job is selling yourself, whether we like it or not, there's selling involved. So yeah, so today I wanna discuss first impressions, what to do, what not to do, what things are cringeworthy, what things will help you make sure that you get the job. Starting from the first time that you see your ideal job advertised, let's say in the newspaper or online or whatever it is, and you decide that you want to apply and you make that call because you kind of usually have to make a call. You make that call, the sound of your voice, sound awake. I've received so many calls in my life where the person sounds like they're half asleep and I'm like already sure that this is not the person that I want in my company. So your hello should make that person think, this could just be the person that we're looking for. So from the greeting. Um, so in the call, remember all the time that you are selling yourself as the best alternative out of everybody that's looking for that job. So you might find that they say, what makes you the best person for this job? So you can't be on some, oh no, sorry, I'm not ready for this. I just called to ask for an email address. Where can I send my CV? It doesn't work that way. From the time you make the call, you should always be ready to talk about yourself. So when someone says, what makes you the best candidate for this position? You should be ready to go to town with your selling pitch. 30 seconds, imagine an advert on TV. That's where you ought to be. My name is Lusanda Mbane. Uh, I'm a marketing graduate. I've got a BCom in marketing. I've got a postgrad from Gibbs. I've got, you know, that's where you should be. You should be bragging. You should be selling because that might just be the only chance that you get sometimes we make the mistake of thinking that no I'll, I'll hold back I'll tell them these things when I get to the interview darling you might not get the interview if you get the first call wrong so it's very important that from the very first call you are already selling yourself on why you are the right person for the job okay so they say uh, all right so here's my email address you may go ahead and send me your CV if I have to spell my email address five times to you, I'm not going to believe you that sharp. So the first important thing is to learn your phonetic alphabet. If someone says Lusanda, it's L-U-S-A-N-D-A. -S -S if you start saying D for donkey and P for pig, I'm not going to be that impressed. So start by learning that A is for alpha. B is for Bravo, C is for Charlie. It's, it might come in very handy to know that because when you say B for bum, I'm like, already you've lost me. My mind is like running away and you're not gonna be the person for the job. So be alert, be sharp, know your phonetic alphabet and people must not have to say things more than at least two times, especially if you're applying for a position where you're gonna be in the front desk, a receptionist taking messages all day. You need to be sharp and hear things the first time. Then comes the issue of, a lot of people that are found to be calling me ma'am. Um, while calling somebody ma'am sounds very respectful, it does make you sound a little bit inferior. It puts you in a lower position. So what I always advised is that ask the person, okay, so your name is Lusanda. Is it all right if I call you Lusanda? Okay, great. And from then on, you call them Lusanda because calling the person ma'am puts you here. So try and be at least on the same wavelength as that person. I hope it makes sense so far. Um, the other thing that I thought of is the money aspect. I know that usually we are looking because we want a position that's going to pay us better than what we have now. But please don't discuss money on the first call, guys. It's too premature. You haven't even sold your own value. They don't even know what you can bring to the table. They don't even know if they want you yet. And yet you are asking, eh, how much is this job paying? Guys, it's a turn off for any interviewer. It's too soon. In fact, it's like, 
It's like a guy trying to fondle you on the first date. It's just too soon. It's like, oh, no, don't ask me that. Not yet. Maybe on the second date. So wait a bit. I know you want to know, but wait for at least the interview when they get to understand the value that you can bring to the table. What are you looking for? Why are you applying for this position? Please don't say, um, oh, well, no, I'm just looking for a job. Anything is fine. Uh, guys, companies want people who know what they want. Companies want people with direction. Some uh, com companies want people with value that they can add. So someone who's looking for anything, as long as it's a job that's paying, is not going to appeal to many companies. So please know why you are looking for that specific job. So, oh no, I applied for this one because it will help me to grow my career within a different industry. I've always been interested in mining because it's going to expose, you see where I'm going with this. So even if you are just looking for a job, try to make a narrative that at least sells and that's going to make people interested in you. And then comes for the time for the interview. If you're lucky enough, if you've done well up to this far, you're going to be invited to an interview. And that's where you get a chance to really make an impression. That's where you get a chance to really sell what you can do, to tell them what you've done in the past that you can now come and do for them, to tell them how you saved your previous company's money, how you made your previous company's money, how you saved your previous company's time, how you increase productivity. Those are the things that you're going to be bragging and laying on thick at the interview. So now that you've gone through the first phase, which is the telephonic, which is getting the email address just so you can send your CV, which is making sure that they hear your voice and they want to meet you, you've probably done well so far. So I think on the next edition, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the actual interview because the journey's just begun.